Hey everybody, it's Anna. Welcome to the Wednesday card in this week's tarot story. Today we have the Queen of Cups reversed. So the Queen is the expansive principle of the card cards. She's the one who takes the energy and broadens it so it's affecting a larger number of people. She's widening the impact of the energy. And in the Cups card, the energy is about the heart. So it's about emotional fulfillment, following your intuition, as well as connection to others. So this queen sits at the seashore with her cup raised. She is welcoming those who want to come to her. She's got a heart like the sea, which is why she's sitting next to the sea. And that sea can receive whatever people bring to her. So she's willing to be hospitable and loving to our heartbreak, our struggles, our frustrations, whatever we bring, she takes it into her heart and she brings it to a place of healing and transformation. And actually, if you look at her feet, you see there's these jewels scattered at her feet. I like to think of that as the result of her alchemy. She takes what we bring her and shows us the hidden blessing and beauty within it. So this card upright, I think, is about offering healing and supportive love energy to others. And the reversal is that we offer it to ourselves. So what occurs to me is the last two cards we've had this week were about, you know, making a mighty push towards completing a project, fulfilling our destiny, making, claiming our goal. So hopefully we were able to do that. And today it is time for us to take care of ourselves, to make sure we check in and, and look for any places within ourselves that need a bit of attention, a bit of love, or a bit of holding. Even though completing our project or completing a journey is exciting and exhilarating, it can also be a bit mournful and a bit sad. And it's easy to lose track of that. It's easy to, to want to just focus on how great it is and to, to miss the undercurrent of possible sadness. Um, so, But the most important thing in our journey, actually, is not accomplishing a bunch of stuff. The most critical thing we can do in our journey is to stay loving, is to grow in our ability to have unconditional love for others and for ourselves. So try not to be impatient with yourself if you discover you're feeling sad or you're feeling frustrated or you're feeling fearful. All of that, all of these are just emotions that come up and they're, they're, they have a reason, they have a purpose. And instead of shutting them aside, see if you can bring them up to the forefront a little and offer some of this Queen of Cups energy to yourself. What is it you need to hear? What is it you need to, to be told? What is it um, you need to share? Offer yourself consolation, offer yourself soothing, offer yourself love. See you tomorrow for our next card. Bye. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you would like more content from me, please consider joining my Patreon community. The link is right here below the video. I'm committed to at least once a week um, posting content that is exclusive to my Patreon subscribers and I do monthly giveaways where I, I send people customized tarot spreads. So if that sounds like fun to you, come on and join us. I hope to see you there. Bye.